It's a 2010 Honda Rancher 420 4x4 electric shift. Going to bleed the brakes. Uh, to do this, simple tools, a uh, Phillips head screwdriver, 8mm wrench, this is just a spring loaded clamp, a Gatorade bottle with a, uh, uh, I think it's a 5 uh, tubing, hole drilled in the top with the tubing inserted, and I'm just going to use DOT for brake fluid from the auto parts store. Uh, the manual itself says right there about where my thumb is, says Honda DOT for brake fluid, but it also says or any brake fluid of equal quality and performance. All right, on the right side here, I've got the uh, steering turned all the way to the right. So this is the back side of the right wheel assembly. Here's the brake caliper, the brake line itself. And then right here, you'll see a cap, rubber cap. I'm going to take that off, and it exposes the bleeder nipple and bleeder uh, valve. So what we're going to do here is take our 8mm wrench, Stick it on that bleeder valve, like so, and then we're going to insert the end of the uh, tubing on the nipple. And now we have a place for the fluid to go when we bleed the brake. Alright, up on the right handlebar, this is the brake fluid reservoir using your Phillips head you can loosen these two screws just be careful not to strip them and remove the top alright with the top removed you have this spacer that comes out and exposes the fluid you can see the fluid's pretty dirty so it's a good time to change it we're going to uh, leave this off for the rest of the bleed process alright to bleed the system now what we're going to do is pump the brake handle a few times to pressurize it and then normally, especially on the right hand side, I would just hold it down and keep constant pressure with my left hand and then reach down with my right hand to the wrench on the bleed valve and open it up. But because I'm videotaping and plus when you do this from the left hand side, you can't reach uh, one side of the four wheeler to the other. So I'm gonna show you how to do this with just uh, one person. All right, with the handle pressed in, or the brake handle pressed in, I put the clamp on. Uh, the spring-loaded spring -loaded clamp is going to now keep constant pressure on there, so I can film with one hand and come down here and show you this. We're going to open the bleed valve by going counterclockwise, in this case it's up, and there you go. I'm going to reclose it. A little bit more fluid came out. I'm going to come back up here, take the clamp off. And then we'll do it again. Pressurize. And then we're going to put the clamp back on. And we'll do it one more time like that. And then we're going to start adding fluid back to the reservoir. That clamps back on. Down to the bleed valve. Open it up. A lot of fluid came out. Close the bleed valve. You can see it completely compressed, or the, the clamp completely compressed. And now, before I pressurize it again, I'm going to add more fluid and top this off with brand new fluid. All right, I've added brake fluid to this uh, reservoir and topped it off. Here's my little helper. We're going to keep doing this process until we see clear new fresh brake fluid coming out of the tube at the bottom of the bleed. So it's going to take multiple times of pressurizing, opening the bleed valve, and topping off until we see clear fluid coming down. So I'm going to do that now and then I'll videotape what it looks like when it's done. Alright, I did that bleed process about 20 times roughly. You can see the fluid on top above the, uh, the center there is actually pretty clear now. And if you come down here, the fluid starting to come out uh, is the clean fluid. And I've got some a sample in the cap. You can just see it's about the same color, roughly. And you can see all the dirty, nasty fluid that came out. So I would say this side is done. So we're going to make sure that brake 
and bleed valve is closed and when it's closed we can remove the uh, the uh, the hose and we'll get going on the other side all right, with that tube removed, just make sure you put the dust cap back on. This is right here. Make sure you put that dust cap back on to cover up that nipple so no dirt gets in there the next time you ride. Now we can move over to the left-hand side. And it's going to be the same process. I'm going to turn the wheel the other way. There we go. So here's the left-hand side. And i get the camera in the right spot. There is the brake line, there is the bleed valve, the nipple. So we're going to take the dust cap off, and expose it, and we're going to repeat the process. Put the tube on, and then we're going to, uh, this is where the clamp might come in handy. You might be able to reach across uh, the front of the four-wheeler with your left hand and pressurize the brake line. And uh, use your right hand to open the valve, but if you can't, that's where that clamp comes in handy. You can clamp it down and uh, then come down here and work without having to reach. So I'm going to get this all set up and we'll do one bleed demonstration and then uh, we'll see what it looks like after. Alright, using the clamp right there, you can see I've got it uh, pressure on the, on the brake handle. And twist counterclockwise with it so that's down. And open it up. There's some fluid came out. Close it up. And then my helper there is gonna play with the switches while I take that off. And we'll just keep repeating. Just keep adding some fluid. Don't let it get too low. And what we're going to do is repeat that process until we see fresh fluid coming out down here. And we should be done at that point. So I'm going to pause the video and then I'll show uh, the clean fluid once it comes out. Alright, I uh, did the bleed routine about four or five times and now we've got clean fluid coming out. So being that this is a, a reservoir, one line coming down this way to the right wheel. The other line going to the left wheel, that's it. We bled the two lines that are on the front brake system, which is the only system that runs off of this reservoir. The rear brakes are cable actuated. So now, the last step is to go ahead and remove my tube. Make sure the bleeder valve is nice and snug. Put the cap dust cap back on and then we will now put a little bit of fluid back in so you see there's a lower limit you can hear my helper uh, banging on stuff in the background <laughs> lower limits right there so I'm gonna go just a tad bit above that so I need to add just a tad bit more uh, fluid before we put the uh, spacer back in all right, add a little bit to the reservoir, and then we can take your spacer cap, put it back on. You might get a little spill out. And then we are going to uh, put the cap back on with the screws. All right, once the cap is back on, tighten down the screws. You know, it's always good to just make sure there's pressure, too, which there is. And just double check, make sure I put the dust cap on, dust cap on. And you see the difference between the fluid that came out and the fluid that went in. It's a big difference. That was some pretty old fluid. I haven't done it in a while. So, so that is bleeding the brakes on the Honda Rancher. Thanks for watching.